six asteroids down. Hello everybody and welcome to another video on Evacron Legacy and um, in this video I'm going to um, have a look at a few of the different contracts um, that you can do in the game and so I am looking here to see what we've got available at the moment in this station and uh, this contract, there's four contracts uh, the first one uh, needs an item recovered and returned to a local station um, I'm not sure, I'm, that one, well we can try that one ok so the location of the item is unknown but the waypoint marker will provide the general area it should be in ok so this one's pretty easy so um, let's just see if there's any time limit. Oh, what's this one for? Sixty-three thousand. Well, that would be good. We've got to mine twenty-five units of platinum. Um, for sixty-three and a half thousand credits. Okay. Well, the last video I did, I, I did mining, so I'm not going to do that um, contract, even though it's paying pretty good. I might do that in my own time. Um, when I'm not videoing, but for the video I want to go with something that I haven't looked at before so let's do this one here uh, ALC needs to transport transport commodities to a nearby ship and you'll be paid once the item is delivered okay so let's accept this, it's only going to give us six and a half thousand credits though but let's let's give it a go on here okay so once you accept it what normally happens is um, you'll notice in your cargo bay that you have um, some goods um, they don't sell those goods or jettison them or else you won't be able to complete the contract um, you can sell them if you want and sometimes that's um, you might actually get more credits for selling them but if I look at that there the sell price is going to be 1200 which is nowhere near what I'll get for completing the contract so let's go do this contract and start the station. So I'm actually in low light mode here. Let me just turn that off. Okay, so when you accept the contract, um, it usually plots um, a waypoint marker for you to go to uh, automatically. So this one here is 500,000k away. So we're going to jump with FA. Okay, so whoop, here we go. Don't crash into this ship. Holy God Almighty. Okay, stop the ship. I have a bad habit of crashing into stuff when I'm doing these videos. Um, okay, so we've arrived at the um, cruiser here that we have to deliver. Um, the cargo to. So what you got to do is, um, you got to fly into the uh, designated area here behind, be below the ship. So I'm just going to fly into this, and once you get into this box here, just stop the ship. Okay, and then jettison your cargo. You can press J, but don't press J actually because if you're if you if you're carrying other stuff, you might jettison everything. So that would probably be a bad thing to do. So I'm just going to go into my inventory here, and if you just double click on this um, contract item, these textiles here, that will jettison them into the area. The cargo ship or the cruiser there will will collect them, and you can see Roger getting six and a half thousand credits for doing that, and he's after flying off there after he collected it. So that's that contract. Easy, easy, but it didn't pay very well. And um, sometimes the contracts can pay a little bit more. So I'm going to jump back to the station. And um, there's two ways you can jump to a station safely. Um, one way is if you uh, right-click on it, it'll go directly to it. But what I normally do is I just move the white point a little bit away so that the yellow is just outside the station. And if you jump there, uh, you should be perfectly safe. You won't crash into the station. Um, the other option is to actually right click directly on it and then if you set your bearing and to if you look up here at the compass there's these little blue arrows and if you set the ship to point directly at them 
Yeah, see, this is where I'm not sure if it's those arrows or those. I think it's these these arrows here, these these bluer arrows. And then, um, you gotta do is level your ship. You can hold down control to do that, or you can just manually do it. These, oh shoot! Literally speaking, <laughs> um, but these lines here are uh, your level. That's plus ten, minus ten pitch. So get your craft level and set it to that, and then just jump. And hopefully, we will jump directly into one of the gates of the station. Hopefully, yeah, looking good. Oh, looking good. Not so good. And that's a really quick way of um, getting back to the uh, to docking in the station. Um, sometimes I like to just do a, a waypoint near it though and just fly in manually. It's kind of fun doing that too. Um, okay, so let us cut our engines and see what other contract we have. You've been challenged to a race by another pilot. They are, that's a difficult one. Uh, another transport one, which we just did. Uh, last item. Okay, let's do the last item one. We just need to get flight close enough to it for visual inspection. So let's accept this mission. And we will complete this mission. These are easy quests or contracts. Um, they're not, not at all difficult. Okay, once don't jump till you're a safe distance out of the station, and then because the waypoint is plotted automatically, just press F8 to jump directly to it. And uh, I gotta watch my speed this time. Make sure I don't uh, fly too quickly. Oh yeah, so. We don't know where this is, it's in the vicinity of this area, so what you would do in this situation is, let me just stop the ship, um, what I normally do is you press uh, num keys 1 uh, and z or 0 and 3, and they select objects in the area, so I normally press 0 um, to cycle through them, and you can see in the screen down here our target, so it's targeting an asteroid, if I keep tapping that, we will eventually. I went right by it a minute ago. There's a lot of asteroids here, which is kind of. Here we go. No ID pod, and that's pretty much what we want. So we gotta head towards that. Question is, where is that? Over here. So you can see in the radar, it's actually selected and it's uh, highlighted in purple. So that's another way you can kind of um, look for it. So we fly towards this pod. Let's level our craft out. And once we're within... Really, you just have to fly past it, I think, at a close range. Contract Here we go. 4,300 credits received. So that's all you do in that mission, you just fly close to the object um, and done and dusted. So that's a transport contract and a lost item contract. What else have we got? Let's do one more contract and see what we've got. So let's try to jump into the station again. Um, line us up with the blue arrows on the bearing compass. Okay, that's gonna crash us into some asteroids. Let's not do that one. Let's do this one here. 180. Level the craft. And jump. This looks bang on. Sorry. Mercenary spacecraft, you're clear to dock the gate. One. Perfect. That's probably my best jump yet into a station. Okay, so. Let me have a look. One more contract. What have we got? A race. Cleaning the solar array. Kind of covered that in um, the first video I did. Um, yeah, let's see. Restore a shipping path as reasonably blocked. Uh, destroy 20 asteroids. Let's do this because, hey, I haven't done much shooting yet, so that will be a nice change. 
You are clear to depart. Okay. Okay. One. So our contract is to destroy 20 asteroids. First thing we gotta do is head to the waypoint. Which is over there. Make sure you're not facing into anything that's uh, solid. And jump. Okay, so where are these asteroids? I don't see any asteroids. Okay, we might have to fly around this waypoint. See if we can detect asteroids somewhere. It's our waypoint, but I'm not picking anything up yet. So, I recommend switching weapons, um, instead of firing with all weapons, just switch to the particle cannon, that's what I normally use anyway, for um, destroying asteroids. And we're going to put full power to the weapons. Um, you can see the power here is 5 to the weapons, minus 5 to shields, so it's a balance uh, between shields and weapon power. Uh, we don't really need our shields for this, because we're not under attack or anything, so we're just going to get full power. Uh, to our weapons, and that means they can recharge quicker. So, if you target, um, if you tar if you have an active target and you fire, and you're in range, I'm not in range yet. You'll notice that the, the shots. There we go. I don't have to point directly at the asteroid, but I do have to have it within the. Um, I do have to be kind of facing it, and it's really um, pretty good for targeting. Um, so definitely target, press, basically the easiest way to target the asteroid is face it and then press 3 on the number pad and that will target the object that's directly ahead of you. There's two asteroids there. So, if you get um, a contract where you're destroying asteroids heading towards a planet, they tend to pay out really good. But they're also a little more difficult because you're kind of you're on a time limit, and it's also dangerous because you're entering the atmosphere and stuff like that. So, but you're, you, I've um, done contracts that have gotten 100, 160k, um, so they're definitely worth doing and they're good fun. But this one's straightforward enough as long as you don't crash into an asteroid by going too quickly. Take little knocks, the shields will cope with that. Just don't fly at speed into the asteroid and the ground. Six asteroids down. So you can see as I'm firing, um, just get this one. The fire rate slows down, and if you look down here, um, this is your weapon power. So as you fire, uh, this meter here, or this bar, will drop down, and um, that's where your uh, power to weapons comes in. It, it means that bar won't go down as quick, and you can fire for longer. So this one I'm shooting at with the um, MDTS, and I'm just kind of manually aiming. You can do that. You don't have to target it. You can just free fire. But if you target it, it means that if you move your aim a little bit, you kind of get away with a little bit of ina um, inaccuracies. Okay. How many more we got? Nine. Okay, 
Okay, so um, I'm going to leave this video here. Um, covered a few contracts. This uh, mining contract, or sorry, this uh, destroying asteroids contract. It's in there. Good. Makes a change from mining the asteroids, blowing them up. So uh, until next time. Goodbye.